Welcome everyone in QFIN News. Today is February the 21st, 2018. And I'm just coming in to give you guys a quick update of what we are noticing in the market for the cryptocurrency space. Uh, overall, I told you all yesterday in our video that we looked like the market was going to be moving lower. And if you guys can tell by this website, cornmarketcrap.com right now, you guys can definitely see that the market is in a down move. Uh, so it should not come as no surprise. But those of you who watched our video yesterday, that's our whole point and to tell you all that you can predict where prices are likely to go the next day, the next trading day, a couple of months down the line, even a couple of hours. It really doesn't matter. All you have to do is understand what the price bars and the volume represent and what it's telling you on these charts. All those other indicators is useless, is pointless because you're using too much of your time, too much analysis just to determine whether or not price is going to go higher, lower, or just trade sideways so once you understand the financial language of the markets you all will become more profitable and understanding and confident in what the market is going to do that's why we're here on this channel on Houston news to give you all our predictions our price forecast to see where these cryptocurrencies are likely to go with all that being said Please understand that everything that I mentioned on this video and on this channel is not to be considered financial advice or even investment advice. OK, make sure you all do your own due diligence, your own research to understand for your own particular trading strategy of where a market is going to go. We're just here as a instruction or um, a leader in the forefront to show you all precisely what price is going to do in the market. And eventually we will give you all the opportunity to understand and learn this for yourselves because independence in the financial market is the way to go in today's term not allowing someone else to tie up your funds just to trade it for you when you can make more profitability than the one who is holding your money okay with that being said please keep an eye out on certain channels because i have noticed that some people have placed our videos and placed it on their channels if you happen to run across someone who is using our video without our permission because no one has our permission to use our videos make sure you flag that person or if not just send me an email at hufinnews at gmail.com so i can report them because they're not supposed to be using our material or our content okay so i just want to throw that out there and then next week i'm gonna start asking you all to leave a comment beginning monday I'm going to ask you all to leave a comment in the comment section of every video for you to tell me which currency, cryptocurrency you want me to do analysis for the next trading day. OK, so it doesn't matter. You guys can pick whichever one you want and I will do it the next trading day. So we're going to start that on Monday of next week. OK. So now let's go ahead and get started for our analysis for today market cap right now for the cryptocurrency space is at 459.9 billion dollars bitcoin is still having around 40 percent so that's still pretty good but as i as you scroll down or as you look down on this website you guys can definitely tell that bitcoin is not having a fantastic day they are down 9.39 percent and as well as ethereum and ripple all three are down nine percent almost nine and a half percent Looking further, Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin is down 12.5%. Cardano is down 6.12%. Neo as well is down 10.5%. So the market is definitely moving lower today. The question that you all want to know is, okay, do we have further to move lower? Or are we going to find support? And we will tell you all that here today on our analysis, okay? So before I get started on that, I want to make sure I forgot to tell you this. Um, when I start doing any, whichever on the comments, whichever one gets the most uh, comments, whether it's V Chain, Stellar, EOS, I don't care what it is. Whichever one gets the most comments, that's the one I will be doing the analysis for the next day. Okay. And with that, I'm gonna take away uh, Cardano from our analysis. And I will add that extra one that we get the most votes for and place in place it of Cardano in place of Cardano. OK. So now let's go ahead and get into our analysis. So now we're looking at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is down 10 and percent right now on Bifinex. 
Last trade was ten thousand four hundred and four dollars. Daily price bar for Bitcoin again is giving us a precursor, a weakness bar, push to go down. Just the continuation of all the stockpile that we saw yesterday. Because when I did the video yesterday, yesterday's daily price bar did not look like this. So that should have told you all that a lot more sellers came into the market, and we're just in the same action than what occurred at the ending of yesterday's trading bar okay so now we still have a precursor to weakness so we are still in a weakness stage for bitcoin let's take a look at the three hour price bar for bitcoin so again the market is definitely giving us precursors of weakness and as you guys can definitely tell it is finding support right now around ten thousand four hundred dollars okay but if this current three hour bar closes below the previous close then we're still looking for the market to continue to move lower uh, market may come back down to and around ten thousand two hundred dollars but definitely on the three hour bars so we're getting nothing but precursors and weakness let's take a quick look at the one hour bar even on the one hour bar as i zoom in the market is not giving us any indication that it wants to move higher especially if that one hour bar that we're currently in now closes towards the low of the bar we are still looking for Bitcoin to move lower and it might just come down to $10,300 or to the low of this particular bar, but we are still noticing stockpile and weakness in the market as of now. So we're still expecting the market to move lower until it finds support. Now, next on the list is going to be Ethereum. So Ethereum as well is down 10.50%. Last trade was $825.51. Daily price bar for Ethereum looks just like Bitcoin. Precursors the weakness bar pushed to go down. So we have a lot of weakness in Ethereum again. Uh, market may come and find support around $800, but we're gonna move it to the three hour time frame to see where support is gonna be for Ethereum. So even with Ethereum on the three hour bar, the market tried to find support right there at $820. Okay, the market closed above that price on this last three hour bar. Market made a quick run up, but we still have stockpile in the market. So we had to be careful because the market is still giving us clues that it is not ready to move higher. So at best, we might just trade sideways. Market may come all the way back up to 860 or maybe even 880 but definitely it can definitely move lower than where it's currently trading uh in or around 800 dollars, or maybe to this particular low 805 in or around that price is where low the support can be for ethereum the true support though on the three hour bar is at 780 so keep that in mind but three hour bars we have nothing but precursors of weakness our analysis so far is for ethereum to continue to move lower even on the three hour bar, that first support area is going to be 820 or right here where these close in the open of this particular one hour bar was, which is $821 is where we're looking for the market to at least find that initial support. Okay, but once the market recovers, you guys can definitely tell that it might come all the way back up to 860 or even 870 in the short term. So now we're going to move on to Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash is down 13.27%. Last trade was $1,291.10. Push the go down bar for Bitcoin Cash on the daily price bar. Not a surprise. Three hour bars should give us the same inclination, just like it did with Ethereum and Bitcoin. Pretty much look just like what Ethereum is going on on their three hour chart. It's the same thing that's going on with Bitcoin Cash. Market came all the way up to 1320 found and got hit with a lot of resistance so we are still in um precursors of weakness mode right now for bitcoin cash but please note even with this goes for ethereum as well if this current bar closes above the previous close the market can still move higher and it's going to come back up to 1320 for bitcoin cash and maybe a little higher for ethereum okay but currently there is a lot more precursors of weakness on this three hour bars then there are precursors of strength so at best bitcoin cash is going to continue to move lower and once it moves higher if it can't break 1320 
that next resistance area is going to be 1360 that Bitcoin cash is going to have to overcome but right now we're in weakness so we're expecting the market to continue to move lower <coughs> excuse me and that's only if support is not here on this low of this bar okay this could be support so pay attention to that so next on the list is going to be ripple So we are looking at Ripple on the daily price bar. Ripple is down 11.57%. Last trade was 95 cents at Bifinex. Market is giving us another precursor to the weakness bar. The volume is also heavier. So definitely we are still entering that precursors of weakness stays for Ripple. Three hour bars for Ripple should give us the same inclination. Market is trying to give us a lot more interest in higher prices, but we are definitely noticing that the market is lacking the interest in higher prices expecting the market to continue to move lower especially if this current three hour bar closes towards the low of the bar expect ripple to continue to move lower but as i scroll over here you guys can see that this is where support is so it is possible that this is support in ripple okay let's see what happens on the one hour bar so on the one hour bar, we're still looking at weakness in the market. Support can still be here at 94, almost 95 cents. So keep that in mind. But if that's not going to hold, then Ripple would definitely be moving lower because we currently have a weakness bar on the one hour bars on a one hour chart and weakness again on the three hour chart. So overwhelmingly, we are still showing precursors of weakness on the chart in ripple so we're still expecting a move lower it might make a quick move right here down to 90 cents and that's only if that support area 95 cents is not going to hold so keep that in mind so now let's go ahead and check out litecoin litecoin is down 12.88 percent last trade was 210 dollars and 42 cents daily price bar for litecoin just continuation of all that stockpile we saw yesterday the market has given us a push to go down bar which is a precursor to weakness three hour bar for litecoin again market is trying to maintain price trying to hold support at 205 if the market currently on this three hour bar closes with the high with the bar close higher than the previous close then the market may make another quick run back up to 215 dollars but this bar is still showing stockpile or selling occurring in the market so we're not yet in interested in higher prices as of now okay so even on the one hour bar the market is trying to recover from the selling that is occurring hopefully that support came in at 207.50 but definitely 205 is going to be that initial support area and Litecoin is going to have to break 215 in order to move higher. And for that to happen, we need to see a lot of volume right there around $215. If we don't get a lot of volume or precursors of strength at $215, then Litecoin would not be moving higher. At best, it would just trade sideways from that point, $215 to $205. Now, let's go ahead and look at Dash. So Dash is down 7.28% last trade with $668.82. Daily price bar for Dash. You see the market try to make a quick run higher on the daily price bar, but look at all the volume that we noticed here on today's price bar for Dash. There is a lot of selling going on in Dash at the moment, but it is a positive sign to see that the market is just trading sideways. So currently, the market participants are there buying up all of that selling that is occurring in the market. Three hour bar for Dash. Nothing but precursors of weakness bars is what I am seeing on this chart. So again, we're looking for Dash to continue to move lower. It came in already to support at 660. 
if it comes there again and might break 660 and move all the way down to 654 a quick move and then bounce higher from there but currently we are not liking what we see here on this chart from dash if that 660 dollar breaks that support then all out all else is out of order okay you expect the market to move anywhere below that point so our analysis for dash as well is for them to move lower and hopefully you can find support again at 660 dollars but we're not seeing a lot of interest in higher prices in dash neither so now we are going to check out neo So Neo was down 11.42%. Last trade was $116.71. Daily price bar for Neo. Let's see what's give me just a moment to refresh. All right, so you guys can see that NEO is down 11.43%. Last trade was $116.70. Daily price bar for NEO is giving us another precursor to weakness bar. Market may find support around $110 on a daily price chart. That is where the likely area for support is going to be. Let's see what we have on the three hour bars. So even on the three hour bars for NEO, it kind of resembles the three hour bars just like what we saw on the other altcoins okay market is trying to recover the current three hour bar still has stockpile on it but if the bar closes above the previous close the market may move just a little higher back up to 120 because that is where resistance came in that's if 118 is not going to hold as resistance that's where true resistance is so keep that in mind for NEO. Let's look at the one hour bar, see what's gonna happen. So again, we have nothing but precursors of weakness in the market. Hopefully the market for NEO can hold support at or around $115, okay? A lot of volume came in on this particular bar and the market is still there trying to consume all of the selling that is coming in, but we still have precursors of weakness. Um, I can tell you that it is subsiding somewhat so the market may continue to bounce from 116 on higher okay but still stay cautious that the market is reflecting precursors of weakness bars in NEO so our analysis is for them to, to, to continue to move lower until it finds support and hopefully that support is going to come in right where it's trading now or on this one particular bar which came in at $115.59. But if that's not going to hold that support, then expect NEO to move further than that. So next on the list is going to be Monero. So Monero is down 6.01%. Last trade was $294.11. So looking at Monero, look at the wide, wild trading day that is happening in Monero right now. The market definitely tried to move higher in price, got hit with a substantial amount of sellers in the market selling all of their Monero coins. Market came all the way down to 280, held that support right now. So that is still good. But look at all that volume that is coming in in the market for Monero. So you had to keep that in mind. So the market on the three hour bar for Monero is still giving that weakness came in on these two particular bars where all the stockpile came in, came all the way up to 330 and the market is still giving us precursors of weakness right now on the three hour bars. 290 or even $285 is gonna be that key support area. If it breaks those two price areas, then Monero will be moving lower. Given the fact that we have nothing but precursors of weakness on the three hour bars, our analysis is for them to move lower until it finds support. The last one for today is going to be Cardano. Daily price bar for Cardano. Precursors of weakness. 
three hour bars for cardano again is giving us nothing but precursors of weakness hopefully the market can find support here around 33 cents that is imperative for cardano to find support there if not definitely 32 cents is going to be a true area of support because in the background you can see where it held at support quite strong so the market can actually come down to 32 cents in the near term or even in tomorrow's trading for cardano so that is our analysis for ada for them to continue to move lower so now that is all i have for today february 21st 2018 recap market is still giving us precursors of weakness I, I keyed in on some key areas of support so keep that in mind just to make sure that the market bounces and might bounce and hit another area of resistance that i also mentioned on these altcoins we're not out the woods yet long term we're still in a consolidation period if you guys just zoom out on the daily price charts you guys can see that we're still bouncing in a wider consolidation range for these altcoins so we just it goes with the territory when the market participants are in the market buying up all these altcoins at cheap prices they will continually to do this until they're ready for prices to move higher so right now we're just not there yet so hopefully you guys are there picking up your own individual altcoins at these cheap prices until the market is going to recover and break out into all-time highs like it did last year so you just have to be patient that's the game that we're in right now okay so that's all i have for today everyone make sure you stay profitable i will talk to you all later and i thank you all for supporting this channel as well as the new subscribers take care